Hello! <laughs> Welcome to Meet Wide Plays. Coming to you live through the power of the internet. <laughs> That's what that boy Boogie says. Today I'm playing For Honor, a game by Ubisoft. <laughs> that sounds like Ubisoft. In the game For Honor, you can either play as the Loyal Knights. The barbaric Vikings or the cunning samurai. In what's sure to be epic battles for the century. Especially considering that in real life none of them boys never done fight fight each other anyway. The game for honor rewards players who use the most cunning tactics. You know, like Repeatedly pushing people to their deaths. And the most skilled swordplay. Which would of course lead to your victory on the battlefield. The battles take place in large scale, carefully crafted, historically accurate environments. You know, it's, it's accurate. All the boys used to live in castles back then. I don't see that on the History Channel. During the battles, you will fight soldiers in tremendous hordes, and your swords will cut through them with razor sharp precision. Then eventually, you'll fight the heroes, the commanders on the battlefield, and your one-on-one -on -one battles will quickly deteriorate into two-on-one, -on -one, or three-on-one, -on -one, or sometimes even four-on-one -on -one battles and you will be completely ganged up on and murdered relentlessly. I mean, come on, look at this. I'm pretty sure one of them boys is Master Shade. One way or another, when you finally get fed up with that and all your buddies drop out, thanks to Ubisoft's carefully crafted matchmaking services, you always have extra friends to play with. Which will, of course, lead to victory on the battlefield, as illustrated here. But even if that becomes too frustrating for you, you can always visit the store, where, with in-game currency, which can, of course, be purchased with real money, you can buy your way to victory. Yay! Hey, check that out! Only a hundred dollars? That's the best value. I'm gonna go buy that right now. Let me go see if I can find Frylock's credit card. Where's that dang thing at? Regardless of its flaws, For Honor turned out to be a pretty good game. I mean, it's got a lot going for it. It's got all them swords and stuff. Plus, you can see what it's like. Like, maybe if the Valkins and the Samurais and them knights fought each other. Plus, I mean, there's all kinds of cool stuff. Look at this here. Look at this here. See what I do to this girl. Check this out. Oh! You see what I do to her head? <laughs> That's dang brutal, y'all. So like I said, For Honor is a pretty good game, and using my patented Clam Digger rating system, I give For Honor a solid 6 out of 10 Clam Diggers. Like I said, the game's not necessarily for everybody, but I mean, it's really fun. It's good to get out there, cut through all them soldiers, and beat up on people using samurai swords and axes and and all kinds of stuff that they used to use back in the day to hurt each other with. If you enjoyed this review, then do me a favor and drop a comment down below and let me know what you think and maybe you can come back sometime and listen to me talk about some other games that you like or some games that you don't like. I mean, one way or another, come back and see me, boy. Tell me what you thought and hopefully I'll see you next time on Meat Wide Plays. Just remember, that's just a theory, a meatwad theory. <laughs>